Lord God bless every person that is hearing this program today. In Jesus' name, you are hearing the program, Gain to Know Jesus. And my name is Harris Kakalibis. And in today's program of Gain to Know Jesus, we will continue studying the Gospel of Mark. And we will look at the third temptation which Jesus went through in the Gospel of Matthew. And the second temptation in the Gospel of Luke, which is the same one, just in a different order. Mark does not tell us the temptation Jesus went through on those 40 days. All we are told is the following. In Mark chapter 1, verse 12 and 13 says, And the Spirit immediately drove him out into the wilderness. He was in the wilderness 40 days, tempted by Satan, and he was with the wild beasts. And the angels waited on him or ministered on him. So to see what Jesus went through, we have to look at Matthew and Luke, which tells us the information. Let's continue about the third temptation in Matthew and, and the second temptation in Luke. Let's read. Again, the devil took him, took Jesus to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor and he said to him all these i will give you if you will fall down and worship me jesus said to him away with you satan for it is written worship the lord your god and serve only him then the devil left them and silently angels came and waited on him that's matthew 4 verse 8 to 11. luke 4 verse 5 and 8 says then the devil led him up and showed him in an instant all the kingdoms of the world. And the devil said to him, To you I will give their glory and all this authority, for it has been given over to me, and I will give it to anyone I please, if you then will worship me. It will be yours jesus answered him it is writ written worship the lord your god and serve only him notice that satan took jesus in a high mountain and in a moment or an instant as the new revised standard virgin states he showed jesus all the kingdoms of the world and then he offers all the kingdoms of the world to Jesus if Jesus would only worship him this is very odd why do I say because the creation is offering the Creator all the kingdoms of the world Colossians 1 16 says for by him Jesus all things were created that are in heaven and are on earth visible and invisible whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers all things were created through him and for him so satan is offering to jesus his own creation and something jesus already possessed in his authority satan has some nerve look at what the bible states notice that none of these verses says that something belongs to satan no it belongs to God, God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Psalms 22, verse 28 says, For dominion belongs to the Lord, and He rules over the nations. Psalms 50, verse 11 and 12 says, I know all the birds of their air, and all that moves in the field is mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell you, for the world and all that is in it is mine. Psalm 60 verse 7 says, Galilee is mine, and Manasseh is mine. Ephraim is my helmet, and Judah is my scepter. The same thing says Psalms 108 verse 8. Romans 13 verse 1 and 2 says, Let every soul be subjected to the governing authority. For there is no authority except from God, and the authorities that exist, are appointed by God. Therefore, whoever resists the authority resists the ordinance of God. And those who resist will bring judgment to themselves. 
Even when Israel committed sins against God with idols by offering grain, wine, oil, and other things, it was the Lord who gave Israel those things to sin against them. Look at Hosea 2 verse 8. She, Israel, did not know that it was I, talking about the Lord, who gave her the grain, the wine, and the oil, and who lavished upon her silver and gold that they used for Baal. Now, I desire to see some verses that state that everything was Jesus for the asking. All Jesus had to do was not to ask Satan, but his father. Look at Psalms 2, verse 7 and 9. I will tell of the decree of the Lord, he said to me. You are my son, today I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will make the nations your inheritance, and the ends of the earth your possession. You will break them with a rod of iron and dash them in pieces like potter's vessel. All Jesus has to ask the Father, and the Father will say here. Daniel 7, verse 13 and 14 says, I washed in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man. This is the NKJV, um, New King James Version. One like the Son of Man, coming with the clouds of heaven. He came to the ancient of days, and he brought him near before him. Then to him was given dominion and glory and a kingdom that all peoples, nations, and languages to serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away, and his kingdom, the one which shall not be destroyed. Everything belongs to God, nothing belongs to Satan. Yes, the world is fallen. But God, the Trinity, is still in control over it. Satan might be a prince of this world, but Jesus is the king of kings. The king of this world. Jesus said in Matthew 28, verse 18, after the resurrection, and Jesus came and spoke to his disciples, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Jesus did not say, Some authority has been given to me in heaven and earth. No, he said, all authority Jesus response to Satan was away with you Satan and Jesus quoted a verse from Deuteronomy which is the quotation worship the Lord your God and serve him only which is found in Deuteronomy 613 the Lord your God you shall fear him you shall serve and by his name alone you shall swear when Satan heard Jesus rebuke when Jesus said Away with you, Satan. Satan had to leave because Jesus is the creator. And Satan is the creation. Notice what happens next. It says, Then the devil left them. And Luke states in Luke 4, 13, When the devil had finished every test, he departed from him until an opportune time. But who was it that told the devil to leave and he had to leave? It was Jesus. Jesus said, Away with you, Satan. And Satan packed up his bags and left. The devil was to come back, but not now. He did not have that permission from his creator to come back and bother Jesus. I would like to finish this study with the words of Irenaeus, since he has done a great job in giving us a commentary of what Jesus went through in the temptation of 40 days and 40 nights. It says, Irenaeus says, Moreover, since God rules over men and him satan too and without the will of our father in heaven not even a sparrow falls to the ground it follows that his declaration all these things are delivered unto me and to whomever i will i give them proceeds from him who puffed up with pride for the creation is not subjected to his power since indeed he is himself but one among created things nor shall he give away the rule over men to men but both all other things and all human affairs are arranged according to god the father's disposal besides the lord declare that the devil is a liar from the beginning and the truth is not in him if then he be a liar, and the truth be not in him, he certainly did not speak truth. 
but a lie when he said, For all these things are delivered to me, and to whoever I will, I give them. Close quote. Till next time, we'll continue the study of the Gospel of Mark. God bless you, and I'll see you next program of Gains of Jesus. Bye. If you enjoy this program, feel free to make a copy and give it to a friend. And that way, they will get to know Jesus as well. Bye.